So first of all, we are going to open up um, Blender. And now um, we're going to get off this, you know, the classic, and just delete the default cube. Now the first thing we're going to start with is really, really simple. We're just going to go ahead and um, change the location of this camera. So you're just going to put Z, 0 on most of these, and then when it comes to Z, you have to go to 10. And then for the rest of these, just 0 again. So it's really simple. Starting off, anybody can copy this, even a beginner. So let's press 0 to head to our camera view. And we're going to select the camera option on the side. Let me just check it is recording. It is, okay. <laughs> Sorry for that little inception there. And we're going to tick background images. Add image. Open image. And now you're just going to open any image that you um, want to edit with a lightsaber effect. So I'm going to choose... Um, this one, yeah, this one because it's nice and easy. Now it looks a bit weird, so just hit fit here, and it won't look weird anymore. It'll just be the normal size. And alpha, just gonna turn it all the way up so we can see this as clear as day. Um, now that's all you're gonna touch on this side for now. So you can just close this if you like. Oh, no, actually, don't close it. Just leave it open. I always leave it open. Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of this, and it's still pretty simple. You're just going to add in, you're going to hit Shift A uh, for a, um, to add a mesh, and you're going to add in a cylinder. You'll scale this right down, and you're going to hit RY90, and just rotate this. You could have hit RX90 to be fair, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now just what you want to do is what I'm doing here is just Ging and Ring to rotate and move this so scale it down as well just so it matches the size. You can even zoom in with the scroll wheel. Now, if you're a real beginner, you'll probably won't be able to do this, but most beginners will. Now, up here, there's a little option it's x ray mode. You're going to tick that and you're going to press tab to go into edit mode, alt A to deselect all vertices and grab the top path, then zoom back out, shift scroll wheel, so you can move along, and G to drag it all the way to the end of the save. Actually, just leave a little bit of space at the end, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, now, first of all, before we get to tapering it off, you can scale this down at the top, and now we can taper it off. So if you notice, lightsabers have this little small like rounded off edge at the top so how you can achieve this is you can extrude a little bit scale extrude not that much scale extrude scale and that's how you achieve that sort of oh that's not good <laughs> just uh grab this ring here oh, come on. yeah there you go and just scale this up a bit Do that with all of them a bit. And there you go, that's that's a nice tapered off. And take a look at that. Just make sure you can't see any of the blue light taper and you're ready to get down. This is the gonna be the of course a bit hard a bit now, uh, but still honestly not really hard that hard. So you're gonna drag up um the um timeline just about there and make this the shader editor now press enter with that now go to the material tab hit new and change from principled bdsf <coughs> excuse me to <coughs> a diffuse bdsf and make this the colour you want the lightsaber to be. So, let's say we want it blue. Like something about there. Um, then you can go down here and viewport display. Get this little pen sample picker thing. And I like that. That looks good. Just don't worry though. It's going to get a lot better. Now zoom in here. 
and press onto Fuse PDSF and pull it right over here. Now shift A and add in a mix, oh, mix shader. Grab that. Now shift A, search. Now I'm gonna start making it look like a lightsaber. So you're gonna put glossy, and glossy is really good. So just put that into the bottom shader and change it from GGX to Beckman. Okay, and turn the roughness all the way down and leave this white. Now over here, make this shift, then click shader and add shader. And just pull this back a minute. And shift A, emission. I have a bad habit of searching for all these nodes. And um, make this strength. Actually, go into render view no mode now. Strength 20. And color, give it a slight blue tint. That that will even be enough. Now, it's ready to give a sample render out. Now, don't select any of the settings for this because we are going to... Oh, I'm sorry. I did not do something. You must also go here, make this cycles, GPU compute, under film, tick transparent. Now you're ready to give it a sample render out. Good, good. And then after this, we're going to composite it, which also will be very, very easy. Um, just follow along and you shouldn't find it hard at all. Now. You should get something like this, wherever you put your lightsaber. Now that's fine, just close it and go into compositing. Now tick use nodes. Pull this right over here. And now shift A, search, image. Now click on this drop down menu and select the name of the image that you chose as the reference picture. Now shift A, add an alpha, alpha over node. Make that the bottom image make that the top image now before you do that as well you're gonna make a scale because otherwise it um, will be off the light table will be off but um, now you've touched the light image enough now we can start making it look like a lightsaber and we can check our work by pre pressing control shift alpha over V to zoom out uh, and now that's gonna show us what it looks like so for now it just looks white right that's fine now blur you want to add in blur blur is very important in this tick bokeh and make both of these eight and now add in a glare node change this to fog low and make it high All right, now make this a mix about a one. All right, and and size maybe nine. I, I like a big size for this lightsaber. Now I'm actually kind of disappointed how the color came out. So what I'm gonna do is, you shouldn't really do this, but I'm going to go back to layout just to give this a bit stronger blue tint. Right, and now I'm gonna give this another render out. Sorry, I confused you a bit there. You don't have to do that bit where you change the color again. If you like the color, you can keep the color, but if you don't. Now, this is going to be the final compiled image. But we're gonna do some more compositing after this. Not quite over yet, uh, but it is looking very, very nice. You have to admit, that's good. Okay, compositing now. Okay. All right, just grab that and shift oh shift a search color balance now this is going to be fun and hit control shift so we can see what it looks like with this now this bit is totally up to you really but what i like to do is i like to give it a bit of an orange color here a bit of a dark blue color here <clears throat> nice a bit of um bit of tint bit of um and then um this one you can really do what sort of ever you want i like to do it a bit leaning towards the light tipper color uh you know or just like 
to be honest, it's really up to you. Like, just what you think looks good here. Like, I don't like that, so I'm going to do that. Go back a bit. And just, uh, I like that, okay? I really like that file compiled image. So when you are ready to render, please feel free to, like, go around here, mess around with stuff, try different things, see what suits you, maybe turn up this threshold to, like, two. Uh, let's see how that looks, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good, to be fair. And I'm just going to put this back to white. I don't like this. And I'm liking how this is looking, to be honest. And, yeah, really, to be honest, do what you like. See what fits, you know, what looks really, really good. And then you're able to just, you know, render it out. Make sure everything is plugged into the composite node. You can keep the viewer node in, it doesn't harm. Just click render image and now just watch magic happen should not take long to render at all really it should be quite quick like this like flipping around and bam 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 da 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 and i really like how this turned out so if you'd like to save this image, maybe, you probably will. So just hit over here, image, and then save as, and it will just ask you to boom ring up this pop-up. And just click where you'd like to save it. I'm not going to save it. I've already done an edit on this. Uh, but thank you guys for watching very, very much. You've been great, guys. I hope you did this along with me. Uh, let's try smash 10,000 likes. <laughs> and if you... If you really like this video, tell me in the comments and I will I will do another Blender tutorial. Now this is a really easy tutorial, I think it took 12 minutes and I think that's like really easy, especially for a beginner. So let me know what you thought about this video. Thank you so much guys, see you later.